Okay, so in this quick video, we're going to see a common problem that can occur with timestamps when working with SharePoint and Microsoft Power Automate or, or Flow. I'm just going to call it Flow for the remainder of this quick video. So you can see here uh, on the screen, this is a very, very simple SharePoint list that I've created um, with an approval process underpinning it. The list itself is for change requests. It could be anything, of course. Uh, but the idea is I am allowing my users to, to log change requests within the system, get them approved, and then log the details of the approval comments. So you can see here, one of these change requests has been approved already. Uh, so great, that's been approved. In the approval comments section here, we can see it's been approved by Tony Ogilvy on this pretty horrific looking timestamp. Okay, so obviously for techies, this makes complete sense. But for end users, the reality is that's that's not very user friendly. OK, so the format we're seeing here is the timestamp that it was approved on in, in UTC format. So what we want to do here is to make this more more human readable. How do we do that? Well, first of all, let's take a look at the cause of the problem. Uh, so if we go to the flow that underpins this uh, this approval process, you'll see it's fairly simple. OK, the flow itself uh, is kicked off by Power Apps. First thing it does is gets the details uh, of the, the change request. So that's all fairly straightforward. There's then an, uh, an approval stage here where it kicks off an approval request and waits for that approval request. Then depending on the outcome of the approval request, uh, it's going to update the, the change request list item in SharePoint, uh, either to indicate that it's been approved, if it's been approved, or rejected if it's been rejected. So you can see the two parallel branches here uh, of the, the approval update. Here is where our problem lies. So under approval comments, this bit of uh, bit of the, the screen here, this shows you how the approval comments are being set. And there is our problem. We're just simply setting the, the approval timestamp to be this completion date field uh, directly from Flow itself. So what we want to do here is to make this uh, A, more human readable, but B, put it in the correct time zone. So how do we do that? So first of all, let's take a quick look. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this first of all. And what I want to do is replace it with an expression. Let's take a quick look at the expression in question. This uh, bit of code here uh, along the center of the screen, this is the expression that we're going to use. Now just exploring it in a wee bit more detail, uh, working from the center out uh, here, this bit in yellow is the, the current time in UTC format. So UTC now brackets that will return the current time in UTC format. And of course, that could be any other uh, timestamp within your system. The bit in green here, uh, this uh, bit of code just working outwards, this what it will do is convert the time returned here to a different timestamp, or sorry, different time zone, I should say. Um, so you can see here what it's going to do is convert it from UTC to, in this case, Eastern Standard Time, okay? The third thing that it's going to do here is then convert or format uh, the date time into a more human readable format, okay? And it will do that by using this method, format date time. It'll take this argument here in green and convert it to the format specified here in F, okay? Uh, now F means friendly format, so it's going to give us a nice friendly date. There's a whole variety of different settings that you can sp specify here, uh, which are outside the scope of this quick video, but you get the idea. Now, what I'm going to do here is copy the this bit of uh, text. One thing I will flag, and this is something that can trip you up when working with these expressions here, is look very closely at the apostrophes. And you can see there's actually an error in my code. Okay, so you can see, if you look very closely, that's a apostrophe as opposed to a tick. So let's actually fix that. Uh, so what I want to do is just grab this instead and replace. And be very careful with the, this kind of thing here uh, when you're working with these expressions, because this kind of thing here can cause you problems and, and really trip you up. Now, let's uh, grab this uh, expression now. I'm going to copy it. And if I go back now to my, my uh, flow, what I'm going to do is put this expression in, in place of the original timestamp. So let's pop in the expression. There it is. Okay, so what that's going to do is absolutely get the, the, the current time and convert it to Eastern Standard Time and then ultimately convert it again to a friendly looking format. 
One thing you might want to do here is instead of using UTC now, use one of the, the timestamps from the flow itself. So for example, the, the time that the approval was actually completed. How do you do that? Well, again, very simple. Let's get rid of UTC now here. And if we switch to the dynamic content context for a second, and let's just scroll through here. You can see when we look at the, the, the approval of the change request uh, task, uh, you'll see there's the, the completion date uh, variable. So what I can do is click on that. And what that will do is insert that completion date into my expression. So what you're, you're seeing now is my complete expression. Uh, you can see it's fairly complex, but as long as you, you know what you're doing when you're building this up and do it carefully and know what you're doing in terms of adding dynamic content in, then it's, it's actually fairly straightforward. So once you've done that, click on OK. And we've done it. We've created our expression with the, the, the correct time zone formatting in place. So next step is to test it. So let's uh, click on Save here. And that will, of course, save the, the, the flow into the system. Let's go back to the, the uh, change requests list, OK? So you can see here I've got a third change request, which I'm now about to uh, request approval on. So if we now click on the change request itself, that's going to launch just a little Power Apps form here, which will allow me to uh, send this thing through for approval. So let me go ahead and submit for approval. What this will now do, of course, is kick off that flow behind the scenes. You can see there uh, I'm getting a little ping in Teams uh, asking me to, to approve this uh, this change request because I'm, I'm actually the approver. So let's pop across the Teams for a second here. You can see that Tony Ogilvy has sent a request asking him to uh, to approve change request number three, Okay, which is fine, absolutely. There's a link to the item itself if the, the approver wants to review it. Let's go ahead and approve this, uh, fine by me, for example, and click on approve. And what this is now doing is then finalizing the approval uh, of this particular list item. Now, let's go back to our SharePoint list. Okay. Now, that will kick off the process, of course, to uh, approve this. Let's just refresh the screen. And you can see now this item has now been approved. And perfect. What you can see now is it's been updated with a much, much nicer and much easier to read timestamp and in the correct time zone. So there you go. That's a very quick run through uh, of the, the, the mechanisms that you use to make sure that timestamps are both uh, time zoned correctly and formatted and displayed correctly for end user use, end user use uh, within Microsoft Flow and SharePoint. I'll include the, the expression that was used at the bottom uh, of this, uh, this quick video. Uh, any questions, feel free to reach out and contact me using the, the, the website.